we'll start drawing out this hat. Now, once again, have to be exact. Both around. I'll skip forward so you don't have to watch me tracing around an image. All right, so we've finished tracing around the hat. That's the first section. That's the uh, initial shape. Now what we need to do is add in these other shapes. So once again, pen tool, you get the idea. So, draw the hat. I'll speed up this video again because you don't need to watch me trace out a hat. That and do I want to give it a gradient? No, I suppose we might Let's give it a gradient so it matches. There's that, there's that. Let's copy that, uh, cut that. Let's control or control that and paste it inside. And Let's do the same, control X, control Alt, control B, paste that inside. That way we've got our hat positioned properly. And then we need the buckle. Buckle, buckle. Let's add some rounded corners. And the corners like that. Give it a colour of orange. Oh, go the orange. Now go colour light. Colour of gold, should I say? Once again, use your own colours or use the eyedropper tool. Here's a basic gold colour. Duplicate that. Make it slightly smaller. Then what we want to do is we just want to use the Boolean tool and subtract. So what I did then, let's go back one, duplicated the original, put it on top, selected both shapes, and then hit the subtract button. Now, that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, control C, Control V to duplicate that shape. Give it a darker gold rim, and then what we'll do is we'll hit Control X, Control Alt, Control V, and paste it inside this shape, and that way it allows us to create, shrink it down, allows us to create this 3D edge, you can see. So, nice and simple. Uh, what are we missing? So we're just missing this part here. Always look in your shape tools to see if there's anything you can use. If not, it's simple enough. Drag out a circle, right click, convert to curves. Give it some sort of basic shape. So I've got a gradient across it, so I'm going to give it a gradient. It's got a harsher gradient, so I probably just want to add a couple of these and bring them close together. You'll get a harsh line, see? Probably not the right shape. So maybe we go elliptical. Yeah, elliptical. All right, you know what? Let's make it easier on ourselves. Undo that. Control C, Control V, uh, Control X, 
and then control alt control v and paste it inside now all i'm doing is making a duplicate of that shape inside just so i can get that shape once again there's so many different ways if you want give it a slight gaussian blur make it a little bit more authentic there you go stick that on top And I think this one here has got a slightly bit more of gold, but I'm not going to worry about that. Group them together. Place them on top. Move them around. There's a hat. There's our buckle. So, like I said earlier, I like to get all the shapes in and then come back at the very end, tweak it all. All right, so we've got our hat here. Let's group it all. In. No, let's not. Let's not group it. But let's grab all of it, put it down onto our pumpkin head. We'll change this background to something we can see. We need to see the background now. So let's have a look. Here's what we need. We need just to overlap a little bit. See this one. Cut it out, paste it in. What are we doing? We need to paste it on top of, paste it on top of our pumpkin head because we want this section to come over the top. Only just. So, with that, let's grab our other groups, which are. The these two here. Let's paste those on top. Bear with me. Make sure you're on the right part of the artboard. So, what have we got? We've got this shape. We need to yeah. So we need to bring this. Up a little bit. Let's figure this out, shall we? So now we need the rim, this rim, to come up and over. So we probably should have drawn it a little bit different. Well, we can probably do. Just grab some black. Put the pen tool. Smooth the um, shape off a little bit. So what I've done here, I've, I've decided that some of the hat needs to overlap the pumpkin's head. So I've just gone ahead and just drawn in some extra shapes and put a black background behind it, obviously, just so that we can overlap that hat and give it a bit more of a 3D feel. When I initially designed it, I forgot about overlapping the hat, so this is why I've just sped it up a little bit because otherwise it's it's boring to watch. But if you want to watch how I do it, just slow down the video a little bit to get the idea. But basically, just dragging out the shapes just to give it that 3D. Uh, because we designed the hat and the pumpkin head separately, obviously they're on two different surfaces or two different layers. So this is where I just add that extra bit of layering to the hat to overlay the top. So I hope it wasn't too confusing for you. And this part here, I'm just obviously adjusting some of the shadowing and the shapes and tweaking to get the desired effect.